Hello, welcome to the Zines and Roger C to C Cal Special. Hello, you all right? Have you come to find out if you won a prize? You might have done. Stick around and I will tell you who won. For the C to C Cal, the cr cr corner to corner crochet along has ended. We've done it, we've done it, we've finished. Um, if you're clicking to watch this video expecting to hear all about what's going to happen next, um, not much because we've done it all. Um, from the beginning of October to mid-November, a load of us have been C to Cing um, in a bid to experiment and play, to have fun, to chat amongst ourselves and with others, to try new things that's always dead exciting and um, yeah just you know to take part in a community spirited crochet along that's about it and we're done so first of all I thought I would say thank you very much so if you partook then you are awesome thank you very much um, I have loved absolutely loved seeing so many fabulous c to c projects especially because so many people had never done it before so this cal was a fab opportunity for them to 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 give it a try and that made me um super happy i loved that and those that had done it before were trying it in ways that they hadn't done it before so they might have done a plain old corner to corner blanket before but they hadn't experimented with colour work or different stitches. You get the idea. Um, it's just, it's been really interesting actually because when I did the Granny Cal at the beginning of the year, I was really trying to urge people to do new things, not just do plain old grannies here, there and everywhere. And although I did see some people go out of like the traditional, it seems with the granny, tradition is where it's at and, and it just exudes that. Whereas, um, and there wasn't, and this is no, I don't mean any events, honestly, but I can't remember, and I hope I'm right, in saying that there was nothing like avant-garde. And why should there be? Because, you know, granny's granny, she's great as she is. With this stitch, there was shed loads of variety. Um, I saw a load of people try, not just a standard corner to corner, all the work was done from the corner to the corner because that's that was the purpose of the cow. But um, not just, you know, plain old that stitch, but linen stitch um, and other stitches that I don't know the names of. <laughs> They were done corner to corner and it was amazing and I was thrilled, truly. So let me start with what I did because uh, uh, that just seems to be the easiest place to start. And also I just wanted to sort of, I've got some notes so I don't forget anything. But the first thing I did for the cow was come up with a cowl. And this was a free design and it's a tutorial that's uh, written patterns on my blog. The video tutorial is on YouTube for the cowl and the hat. Where's the back? Oh, there it is. Okay. So this was my first C2C project that was linked to the crochet along. And it's also not, not the finished not the finished stuff, but this yarn is also one of the prizes. Four balls of um, this Aran Weight Wool Happy Sheep Wool Power from Hobby. And they are giving four, ball, four balls of this yarn, so you can make this set if you want, or make a scarf, or make whatever, whatever you want. So this is the first thing I did, and whilst I actually did it before the start date, it was for specifically for the cow, so it counts, totally counts. So that was my first project done and it was dead easy 
and um, lots of fun. Uh, dead quick too. Then I made this blanket, which I released. I released as a pattern. I did it. I did it really quickly. I made this over the week, over a weekend during the beginning of the cal, and then within a couple of days, I published the chart as a um, as a chart only pattern on Ravelry. The idea is is to in the future release the written pattern to go along with the chart as well, but I haven't I haven't done that yet because I haven't made the second blanket which I'm supposed to be doing. But I have my yarn. I bought three balls of grey to do another version and then went into my cupboard of tricks to come up with these colours for the for the lightning bolt which I think will be which will be nice and when I finished it I'm hoping to give it to give it to somebody I know so I didn't manage to do that in the cow time though I wanted to I wanted to get this one done as well but um, other things got in the way so but that sits in my Yarndale bag, waiting to, waiting to get made at some point. Hopefully in the near future, but I don't know. And then I had a couple of fails. The first fail is because I didn't get this finished. It's one half of a Christmas stocking. And I talked about this on my vlogcast. I wasn't feeling it, but looking at it now, I mean, how long has it been? Has it been a few? It's been at least three weeks, isn't it, since I talked about it? And already, I, I can see looking at it, I'm feeling a bit better than I was because I, 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 I wasn't keen to make the second panel because I didn't. I just, well, I'd had enough because I'd ripped it back a couple of times. I think I might be ready to, to give that a go again. And the idea is, is to have this panel, another panel, stitch them together and I've got myself a corner to corner Christmas stocking. And yes, I did do it corner to corner. My battery's about to die. Bum. So I think, I think I'm ready. I might be ready to start that again, but I can't remember what hook I used in my, did I write it down? Prob probs not. That's my problem, I never write down the hook size. Got a pencil in my stash bag, but no uh, project bag, but no. Well, so that's the other thing I did. And then the other, there was another thing that I was going to do and I frogged. And I will tell you about that when I've changed that blinking battery. At some point at the beginning of the cowl, my mate Claude got in touch. Claudia from Crochet Luna. And she asked me to design a C to C grid for her because she wanted to make something. She told me what it was and wow I was just like yes I have to make this this sounds fabulous and I made the chart I made a couple of different versions until I was happy I think I've got the right one here I haven't got <laughs> this is this is not the right one this is a, a prototype it's a rough draft um, I changed it slightly but it will give you an idea I started making it in um, a mercerized cotton double knit the I did not like the mercerized cotton for this project um, I don't like a mercerized cotton for a bag it turns out because it was going to be a bag I tell you what it's going to be like I wanted it to be like this which is, this is a Debbie Bliss cotton, which is non-mercerised and it's worked beautifully for this C to C pencil case. So there's right stuff, right stuff. See what I did? See what I did there? This was in a, um, this was in an issue of Simply Crochet magazine, issue 68, I believe. It's a pencil case. And the idea for this thing that Claudia asked me for was based on this kind of thing, okay? 
So this, I love, this is what I wanted it to look like. The shininess of the Mercerized didn't do it justice at all and it really put a down on the project and I binned it. But what um, Claudia asked me to do, and as I said, it's just a rough draft, so it's not the finalised one, but you get an idea. Um, it's a chart. It's not particularly pretty to look at as, as it is, but it says crochet on one side and on the other side it was going to say queen, crochet queen, which I thought was fabulous. I loved that idea so much and I started, I got halfway through, I think I did like half, half of it, not quite, almost halfway and I looked at it and I was going, oh my god, no. Random, random memory of the day. I was watching Bull Durham when I was making it because I'd never seen Bull Durham before, and it's supposed to be like a really good movie, and it was on Netflix, so I watched it. Um, but because I was faffing about with that, I kind of only paid half attention, and it turns out it wasn't my cup of tea anyway because it was to do with baseball, and I'm not interested in baseball in the slightest. So me, although in the early nineties, my goodness. I thought Kevin Costner was beautiful. What? I was only about 12. Robin Hood did it for me. Not anymore though, that was mullety. Um, my tastes have changed somewhat. But actually, I can see in early days Kevin Costner, he is quite handsome, but just not like core like he used to be in my brain. Um, too much information? So, that was the idea. If you ever make one, let me know because I want to see. I want one. I was going to make a deeper one as well. I've got a chart that's de a deeper version and it was going to be a bag that I could carry around. Haven't done it. C to C fail. Um, so basically that's my C to C story and you guys all had C to C stories as well and it has been amazing and what I'm going to do is rather than flash them up here because um, I can't remember how to do that. I'm going to stick them on a blog post and you can go over there and have a look at my favourites that I, I add. And also go and check out the finished object thread on Ravelry. Check out the hashtag C2CCal18 C2CCal18 on Insta. And you will see some like, knock your socks off um crochet some of the things I've gone why didn't I think of that like li seriously like oh there's so many things I've gone yeah that's that's right up my street uh, I did six categories in the end so there are six winners I did an IG favorite my IG favorite and an IG random I did a random from the finished object thread and my favourite from the finished object thread and I did a random from the chatter thread and my favourite comment from the chatter thread. Uh, so that's six and though I think it works out quite nicely that each winner gets a physical prize and a pattern prize as well. I think that's how it works out or I can certainly do it so it works that way, if that's all right. And I have not yet matched up the winners to the prizes because I can. I think it's nicer to keep that secret so that when something pops through your letterbox, if you're a winner, it's a surprise. And um, yeah, what I wanna do, if at all possible, is if there are physical projects, like a couple of people that have offered prizes have the prizes at their house and they might not be in this country. So if I've got a US winner, for example, then if there's a US person who's a prize donor, they can just pop it across for a bit cheaper postage than me posting abroad uh, or the other person posting abroad, if you see what I mean. Because I've got, a, I've got certainly at least one UK winner a winner from Germany, somebody from the US, somebody from Australia, and then there's two that I don't know about. Is that right? Australia, don't know. Germany, don't know. UK, US. So, yeah. 
I've got a couple of people, I've got one person, one of the prizes is going to be uh, posted out from somewhere in Europe, one's from Australia, oh, so I can match those, there's an Australian prize and an Australian winner, I'll just match those straight off if that's alright, um, and then the U the rest have come from the UK, so, I, uh, yeah, and then the, the patterns can all be digital, so doesn't matter. Right, so let's get started. Prizes are a wall hanging which is embroidered and crocheted from Teresa of Shirley Rainbow, a project bag from Laura at Home Fire Ridge, and I've seen it and it's fab. I'll put a picture in the in the final blog post for all of this. There, all the information. If you need to go over, go, will you? Yeah, go and have a look. Um, it's be her bags are wonderful. I've seen her latest stuff in Etsy and it's really good. Um, and then there are also stitch markers from Lisa Raspberry Crochet, badges from Crochet Luna, some yarn from Hobby, and Dear You, which is a a company that sells sort of yarn associated accessories, has they're, they're going to give away some cards that look really good in flat lay and stuff. I can't remember what they're what they're called, but they're sort of aspirational quotes and stuff like that in pretty lettering. And then we have patterns from Lottie and Albert and Lindsay is donating one of her C to C patterns. Kate from Jellybean Junction is donating a pattern. Hannah from the Cozy Cottage Cozy Crochet Cottage is offering a pattern as a prize. As is Sarah from Yarn and Blarney. And me, I am as well. I'm offering a pattern. What, so I'll I'll do, divvy it out. That's, and I think I'll probably do two to make up six because that's five there. <laughs> so organised, aren't I? Right, the winners. So this morning I um, went on the random number generator stuff and had a quick look at all the pictures. I'd, I'd you know, I've been obviously monitoring things as I've been going along and making note of things that have made me smile, things that I've really thought were beautiful um, and just all of that jazz. So anyway, winners. My IG favourite, my favourite from Instagram is Three Little Pears who is from Australia and who designed, made a lovely, lovely cushion. And, um, I don't know if you can, a lovely cushion, you probably can't see. But, the reason I chose it, let's see if I get a name. Robin. Robin, you've won a prize. And the reason I chose this as my favourite is because I thought the photography was beautiful and I thought the colours were beautiful and I thought the yarn that Robin chose was beautiful. It's a mixture of like a really nice fluffy blue and um, a pink as well. I just really liked the, the difference in the, the yarn textures and they went really well together. So that's why I chose that. Pre predominantly, I think, actually, it's the, just the, the photography caught my eye. I just really, really liked it. Which is what I said I was going to do. I said I was like my IG favourite would be based on um, like the composition of the ph photographs as well as the project itself. Go check out Three Little Pears because um, that's some really nice Christmas baubles you've got going on there, Robin. <laughs> Very nice. I like those. Oh, follow back. Right. So that's my IG favourite. My IG random was Charlie at Birdhouse Stitches. And I haven't got your picture up, I'm sorry. I'll put it on the... I, can't, I wish I'd written a blinking note about what you'd made. I, yeah, I've been trying to do this, um, this video all week and it hasn't happened. And now I've got 20 minutes before I've got to go and get the kids from school. Um, but since when have I ever been organised for these podcasts and things? The answer is never. What you see is what you get. I think I think you know that. Aha! Yes, I remember. I'm I'm here. An all Achille inspired cushion. 
like that. Right. So those were the IG winners. Going on to Ravelry, we have my favourite from Ravelry, which also was posted on Instagram, so I can just show you. Wow, I mean, honestly, it's just a, like a thing of beauty. Just something that made my eyes go dwing. Let's see if I can find you a bit. Claudia Dingle and your beautiful blanket that's called the hypnotic geometric blanket or something. Just look at that colour work, that's crazy. I think she followed somebody else's pattern, I'm not sure, and I do believe it's a join as you go version of um, corner to corner. But I love it, I love seeing that come together, brilliant. Was that the random or the chosen? I think that was my favourite. Yeah, I chose that because I love it. Love it. So that's that. And then the random fav not the random from the finished object thread is finished object, finished object, random. Mrs. Spinks socks. I don't know who you are, I don't what know what your real name is. Um but Mrs. Spinks socks, you've won a prize. Do I know where you're from? Don't know where you're from either. Um, but you made a C to C cowl. I don't know that much. And that was done by random number generator. Uh, random number generated was also, and this one made me laugh, <laughs> because it's Lisa from Raspberry Crochet who's actually donating a prize. So I'll be sure not to send you your own back to you. But it did make me go, ha ha, that's really funny. Uh, Lisa from Raspberry Crochet is based in the UK. So I'll sort you out with a prize, Lisa, no probs. Um, and then the my favourite comment, comment, comment comes from... Hello, where are you? Right comes from Lola Chimichanga. Um, she made a cool thing. That's awesome. But it was to comment. Um, she said she had so, so, so much fun making this. Couldn't wrap my head around bobbins and where to put them, so there was lots of cutting and weaving in the ends. But I didn't care. I loved every minute. Blah, 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 etc, etc. It's, it's gonk and from Glaukian Warrior by James Kochorka. I don't know. I've never, I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is, but I um, love, the, love the work, but it's the comment, it's just the fact that um, somebody has not tried it before, but had a blast anyway. And even when there's like loads of ends and all those sort of crochet horrors, it's still been great fun and that is what it is all about and um, it's made me very happy indeed. So is that all the winners? I've read, I've read out that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, yeah, that's it. So what's there left to say? Well I'm leaving the threads on Ravelry open so you can go and check out all the pictures and everything that people made because um, for all that effort to be gone unrecognised would be a big, big old shame. So please go, please go and have a look at those. Um, some wonderful ideas, wonderful projects, wonderful designs. Um, and you can carry on the, the, the chat, you know, if, if if people still want to talk about it, then good, do it. Um, the Pinterest board on my, on my account, there's a Robin having a bath out there. Hello, Mr. Robin. Always oh, having a good old bath out there. Um, yeah, the, my Pinterest board full of C2C projects is obviously going to remain there. So if you want C2C ideas, go check it out. Uh, the hashtags, why not? Keep using it. Go on, just um, keep sharing your C2C mix. Um, and funnily enough, I'm actually making, I've just finished a secret C2C project. And I've got another secret C2C project on the go upstairs as well. 
um, you won't find out about either of those until January. But I thought it was very apt that I was asked to make C2C projects during the cow. I thought it was fabulous. Um, that's the crochet gods working their magic. So we're at an end. That's that's it. We're done. Um, I'm going to be lost now. I've been doing an awful lot of granny crochet to kind of get over the seat. Ah, oh, stop it, battery! I've got to go. I've got a backache, a headache. I've got to go and pick the kids up from school. Um, I hope everything is down and all the information that um, you wanted was here. If not, then please do read the blog post that's going to accompany this video. Um, I would apologise for the ramshackle quality, but pff, I'm not saying sorry. Um, thank you so much for joining in. Thank you so much for taking part and for your enthusiasm and all of that. So I'll see you again for no when normality resumes next week. <laughs>